things you don't know about the Snow White. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is a 1937 American animated musical fantasy film produced by Walt Disney Productions and released by RKO Radio Pictures based on the 1812 German fairy tale by the Brothers Grimm. It is the first full-length traditionally animated feature film and the first Disney animated feature film. The story was adapted by storyboard artist Dorothy Ann Blank, Richard Graydon, Niall DeMaris, Otto Englander, Yal Huart, Dick Wicker, Dad Sears, and Oeb Smith. David Hand was the supervising director, while William Cottrell, Wilfred Jackson, Larry Murray, Percy Ferris, and Ben Shafstein directed the film's individual sequences. Snow White premiered at the Carthy Circle Theater in Los Angeles, California on December 21, 1937. It was a critical and commercial success and with international earnings of more than $8 million during its initial release. Compared its to its $1.5 million budget, it briefly held the record of highest grossing sound film at the time. The popularity of the film has led to its being re-released theatrically many times until its home video release in 1990s. Adjusted for inflation, it is one of the top 10 performances at the North American box office and the highest grossing animated film worldwide. Its inflation adjusted earnings top the animation list. Snow White was nominated for Best Musical Score and the Academy Awards in 1938 and the next year, producer Walt Disney was awarded an honorary Oscar for the film. This award was unique, consisting of one normal size plus seven miniature Oscar statue. It's their are presented to Disney by Shirley Temple. In 1989, the United States Library of Congress deemed the film culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant and selected it as one of the first 25 films for preservation in the National Film Registry. The American Film Institute ranked it among the 100 greatest American films and also named the film as the greatest American animated film of all time in 2010. Disney's take on the fairy tale has had a significant cultural impact, resulting in popular theme park attraction, a video game, and a Broadway musical ever since its release in 1937. Disney Snow White and the Seven Drops has had a huge cultural icon. The film turned the animation studio into a just charger note as well as inspiring countless books, test shows, television programs, other films and more. Not to mention being the first of many classic Disney films in the years to come. Based on a German fairy tale, the story involving a princess fleeing her wicked mother and being taken in by seven friendly gods has become well known around the world, but there are still facts about the film that might come off as a surprise for fans of Disney. 1. It marked many milestones for the animated world. This film would make many firsts upon its release. It was the first animated feature film produced in the United States, the first full length cell animated feature, the first produced in full color, as well as being Disney's first feature length film. However, it was not the first animated film ever made. Historians debated exactly what was the first feature length animated film period some give the title to the last 1970 film E.I. Apostle from Argentina which is believed to have been destroyed by fire Little Rangers The Adventures of Prince Account from 1926 Germany is believed to be the oldest surviving animated film to Walt wanted to make this film since he was 15 Walt Disney came up with the idea of making this film as a teenager after seeing a silent movie based on the story. Starring actress Margaret Clark, the silent movie was based on a Broadway play. He saw the film while he was working as a newsboy in Kansas City and it is believed to be the first film he ever saw. It is believed Walt was in a position where he could see two sides of the screen at the same time. Although not in sync, who is left an impression on him, kindly please check my channel if you want to know more about Walt Disney. See, there are shout outs to other Grimm fairy tales scattered throughout. There are references to other stories the Grimm brothers collected throughout the film. The idea of Snow White being made to work as a servant and dress in rags and clothes by her stepmother is not only a reference
returns to Simvela. She is even surrounded by Huai. Job Huai is working just like the game's brother. As Sen Portal, this also comes into play in the finale. In the original story, Snow White is revived after he cuts up the poisoned apple. The romantic ending with the prince walking her with a kiss was taken from the game brother story. Doron Rasen as Briar Rose, better known as Sleeping Beauty in English. Finally enough, Disney would make adaptations of the stories by the 1950s. Four, the animators like the evil queen better than Snow White. While working on the film, animators generally favored drawing the queen over Snow White, finding her more driven and complex. They liked her to the point of not using rotoscoping or human models as they did with the princess that said many famous actresses at the time were used for visual inspiration for the queen such as Gail Sundergaard, Marlene Dietrich, Joan Crawford and Rita Garbo. She was also greatly influenced by Queen Hashimoto from the She and Princess Filmhild from Die Neville and Gain. Uh, there are a few rejected ideas. There were quite a few rejected ideas for the film, many of which were planned but never fully animated due in part to censorship issues at the time animation issues or the cost of making the film. Some of this include an opening with Snow White's real mother, a subplot where the queen falls in love with the prince and imprisons him in her dungeon. Two failed attempts to kill Snow White with the bodies and a poisoned comb, a failed attempt by the forest animals to bring the prince to suck Snow White, as seen or the drops backing Snow White a bed of her own, and fantasy dream sequence to accompany someday my prince will come over the years many of these deleted ideas have appeared in comics or storybooks based on the film. Some fans also claim to see com in the opening scenes, possibly a reference to the card scene. In addition, there were around 25 songs planned for the film, with only 8 being used. Six Snow White actors went uncredited nearly all her career. At Verena Castle of D, the voice of Snow White was uncredited for the film, as was the case with the other actors. She only had a few film roles after Snow White. She provided the voice of Juliet uncredited during If I Only Had a Heart in the Wizard of Oz and had an uncredited role in It's a Wonderful Life. He also appeared as herself in promotional spots for Snow White, such as appearing on a Disney themed episode on the Julie's Andrews Hour. Over the years, a popular urban legend has claimed that Disney barred the celebrity from acting rules after Snow White for a contract. The story is probably untrue, especially since Disney was not known for keeping actors under contract at the time the film was made. 7. The Prince She Missed At the End of the Film The animators had a few issues realistically animating Snow White's love interest, the prince. In fact, that was a primary reason he only briefly appears in the film as many of his planned films had to be cut. In the last scenes, where Snow White is revived, the prince's body shakes as the cells are not lined up properly. Walt Disney noticed the mystic before the film was released, but there was no money to correct it. The mystic was finally fixed during the 1993 digital restoration of the film. 8. The film on a special award to represent the seven drops. In the movie on an Academy Honorary Award at the 11th Academy Awards as a special prize, Disney was giving a full-size Oscar statuette with the seven smaller ones presented by child actor Shirley Temple. In addition to this, the film was also nominated for Best musical score. 9. There was a Broadway musical. A musical adaption of the film was first produced in 1969 at the Money re Radio City Music Hall within 10 years. Ultimately, closing by 1980, Disney even made home releases of the stage show for VHS and Betamax. There are a few changes made to the plot of the film for the stage adaptation. One of the most notable is that Snow White's father, the king, a presumably post thamaus character in the original film is a lap and oil throughout the story. 10. There was going to be a live action martial arts remake. Over the years, Disney has experimented with developing live action remakes of their animated films. One planned idea was to develop a martial art film inspired by Snow White, which went by the titles Order of the Seven and Snow White and the Seven. At one point, the project would have seen Snow White re-imagined as an English woman who flees Hong Kong while hiding from an evil empress and is taken in by seven demon hunters. Having been in development hell for over a decade, Disney indefinitely
ultimately, he played the project in 2012-11. Walsh did his wife thought about the movie. Walsh's wife, Lillian, thought the movie could completely bomb. 12. Walt Disney acted out Snow White himself. At one point during production, Walsh decided that for everyone to understand his precious vision for the film, he would have physically show them. He gathered the artist on an empty soundstage and spent hours acting out the entire script. 13. Snow White's Extraordinary Makeup To give Snow White her famously rosy checks, the woman in the ink and paint department applied pale blush to the cells. One woman was especially talented at Snow White's makeup application and was recruited to do it specifically for all of the close up. 14. Live animals were used to clean the movie. In order to ensure that all of Snow White's animal friends were captured just right, Disney kept a variety of live animals at the studio for the animators to reference. 15. Why Dopey was silent in the whole movie? Dopey was originally slated to be a chatterbox, but producers couldn't find a voice that was quite suitable for the black work. Rather than outfit him with vocals they thought were wrong, Dopey went silent instead. Dopey initially was to talk with the voice of Mel Blanc but was made mute instead. The same happened with Gideon in Pinocchio 1940, though Blank actually was the one who did the vocal effect for that 16th voice connection. The Evil Queen, Queen Grimhildi and the Old Hag, which was voiced by the same actress Lucille La Balmy, she managed to get a completely different sound for the hag's voice by removing her false teeth. Her name was given as Queen Grimhildi in some old publicity material and comics, but this is seldom acknowledged by the Walt Disney Company. The Twisted Tail books gave her the name Queen's Ilbert, the which is sometimes referred to as the old hack after drinking the egg in potion. 17. The Evil Queen is the 10th greatest villain. The Evil Queen is generally regarded as one of the most iconic and many saying villains in cinematic history. Once being voted the 10th greatest movie villain of the all time by the American Film Institute. Additionally, she is one of the most prominent members of the Disney Valence lineup. While trying to settle on a characterization, Queen Grimhildi Walt Disney started in visioning her as a mixture of Lady Macbeth and the Big Bad All. He wanted her to be beautiful, but in his words, her beauty in his sinister measure plenty of cards. She becomes ugly and menacing her when King. 18. Evil Queen's early appearance was completely different. In the early stages of Design, the queen was drawn as a fat, crampy, comical character. In the style of the characters of the silly symphonies, the placer, Betty Boo, short Snow White, twist like much of Fleecer White, had probably been studied by Disney's animator, also has an ugly queen. However, when Albert Hunter introduced a more realistic style of character design to the Disney animators, it was ultimately decided that the queen should be more beautiful, regal, cold, and sinister, creating a much scarier character than had ever been attempted in animation before. Rather than a comical villain, she became a female fatal, a type of character with which the Disney artist would have been familiar. Though the silent queen, at the same time, she is a figure from ancient Europe, viewed by American audiences in the 1930s as a symbol of not only charm and elegance but also decadence and self destruction. 19. Evil Queen's Costume The Queen's costume is remote to be based on that owned by Helen Gahagan in the 1935 film. She thought animator Art Babbitt and other Disney artists have denied this. At a meeting on October 30, 1934, Disney suggested that the paper Bachi masked by Art Deco, illustrator Vladis La Theodore Benja, and influences on Joe Grant's work to be used as inspiration for the coin's face. Her Hollywood mask of a face may also draw inspiration from Juan Crawford, particularly in the lips and eyes. The coin's costume and general Silhouette may have been inspired by Colin Chacho Art Number Cathedral Defecting Otter, wife of the Margrave of Mason. There are also facial similarities to Just D. Pierce, La Femme, El Chapio, Norwich. 20. Was the Evil Queen really evil? The book My Sight of the Story Snow White. The Queen gives a different portrayal, stating that the Queen was actually very kind to Snow White at first. She even has a portrait of her stepdaughter on one of the walls of the castle, but she got so wound up in her jealousy, which ultimately results in her untimely end. The book also reveals her when not in her castle or in a 
was arrested as seen in the last page of the book and that the huntsman was a very good friend of her. She also according to her explanation made Snow White a servant in her castle to keep her stepdaughter from being lazy. The queen also tells Snow White to do chores every day because it's a good exercise. This is proven in one scene from the book where Snow White can eat some cake only for the queen to snatch it away from her stepdaughter, telling her not to eat sweets because she is still in growth and needs to die. Also according to the queen, she never asks the magic mirror who is the fairest in the land, but the magic mirror keeps complimenting on how beautiful the queen is. In this, in the scene where Snow White first meets the prince and first with him, the queen watches them from her window with the audit look on her face. Concerned about Snow White's safety with an older boy, Paris in the film, the she watches them with anger and jealousy of Snow White's beauty. In addition, the Serena Valentino novel, Fairest of All, a tale of the witch queen, paints her in a permanent tragic life that of an extremely broken woman who, due to emotional abuse from her father, was feeling extremely insecure about whether or not she truly was beautiful. It also showed that she did initially gen only care for Snow White as if she had her own daughter before the king's ultimately demise into an end abandoned concept of imprisoning the prince. It was originally planned that jealous of the prince's affection for Snow White, the queen would have him brought to her and she would have him locked in her dungeon. As the always, she would have made the skeletons in the dungeon, one of whom would have been identified as Prince Oswald, rise up and dance. She would have left the prince in the dungeon and she was to escape in the manner of Eral plan, enabling him to reach Snow White and break the spell. The idea was abandoned when it was realized how difficult it was to animate the prince convincingly and the character only appeared when he needed to further the story which centered primarily around the relationship between Snow White and the queen. However, comics released to promote the film include such scenes. The witch locks up the prince and tells him to offer plans for Snow White, telling him that she will win his affections while the prince is defiant. Later, as the animators became more experienced and animating human characters, a similar concept was used in Sleeping Beauty, in which Maleficent has Prince Philip captured and taken to the Forbidden Mountains, where she shows her visions of the future she has planned for him. 22. A deleted scene. A very short sequence involving the witch charring her caldron was fully animated and completed and was among the scenes cut from Bloom by Walt Disney at the last minute. In the sequence, the raven looks on as the witch treats the caldron with a huge bone. She poses to see that the smoke rising from the brew is shaped like skulls and adds a drop of an unknown ingredient to the concoction. At the smoke from the caldron fills the room. The this sequence would have occurred immediately after the scene of the seven drops going to sleep in their cottage. The sequence would have been followed by scene in which the witch dips the apple into the brew to make it poisonous. 23. How Huntsman Met the Evil Queen The Huntsman is a crucial character in the series and is played by Jamie Dorman. He was raised by wolves and lives in the enchanted forest with the white wolf as his sole soul companion. He is immensely compassionate towards animals, believing they have the purest heart and mounts any he must kill to survive. When several devil passions smoke his beliefs and assault him, he easily overpowers them while expressing his disgust for human nature, attracting the queen's attention by the magic mirror as somebody merciless enough to retrieve Snow White's heart. While initially hesitant of the queen's request, the Huntsman bargains with her to outlaw the haunting of elves within her kingdom and accepts 24 magic mirrored hollow sounding boys. To achieve the magic mirrors hollow sounding boys, boy sector Moroni also wore a frame covered with drum heads over his head. 25 Snow White's Ace To skirt around the issue of how old Snow White was supposed to be, Walt instructed his animator to make Snow White appear old enough to marry. 26 Dwarfs have eyebrows.
produce modeled after Walt's. Animators believe that Walt had wonderfully expressive eyebrows, which he apparently used to get effect in story meetings, except for happy all of the drops have eyebrows modeled after Walt's. 27. Successful movie. The movie was actually such a success that Walt used the profits from it to the purchase 51 acres of land in Burbank to build studios facilities that are still used to this day. 28. Snow White and the Seven Drops premieres at Carthage Circle Theatre. Attendees of the Carthage Circle premiere included Carrie Grant, Shirley Temple, Judy Garland, George Burns, Charlie Chaplin, Marlene Dystrich, and Ginger Rogers. The next day, Chaplin told the Los Angeles Times that Dopey was one of the greatest comedians of all time. 29. Disney got a special honorary Academy Award for this film. Chaplin was in the only fan Academy President Frank Chopra came up with the idea of giving Disney as a special honor of the Academy Award for significant screen innovation. The award was one regular such Oscar and 17 won 30 adulated songs. Several songs were written for the movie that didn't make it into the final cut. Music in your soup is just one of them. Find the drop that he dropped each other's a bar of soap was sequence showing how they got the soap back out of him was filmed as a pencil test but was not included in the film. It was largely shown on the magical world of Disney and the TV show along with pencil test segment for the song The Music in Your Soul. 31. Rejected Draft Names Over 50 names and corresponding traits were proposed for the drops. Rejected drops names names included Scrappy, Hoppy, Apple, Whippy, Grammy, Snappy, Silly, Gabby, Flabby, Flabby, Dizzy, and Iggy, Iggy, Snoozy was the last of many replacement for the GFP. Peanut Theatre Charles M. Kyle once wrote that he had heard that another man considered for his job was snappy and that he was relieved that it had not been chosen as it would have properly prevented from giving that name to his famous cartoon behavior. One bonus fact, all the dogs were modeled after real people. 32. Why Prince Charming appearance is only two minutes. Prince Charming is only one screen for a little more than two minutes total. He was originally supposed to to have a large role, but because artists found him difficult to realistically animate, Charming got cut. That is Snow White's animator. Snow White continues to be one of the most innocent characters in animated story. Finally, Anna's artistic team, Natrick, was hired to animate her based on his previous experience animatic one of the most provocative cartoon characters, B.T. Bob. 34. Walt Disney's strict contact with Adriana Casalotti. Adriana Casalotti was paid $970 for her work by Snow White. Walt Disney had her under a strict contract that for bit most acting work afterward. So, this work to end into upper and state. She also continued to provide the voice of Snow White for various occasions for the rest of her life. Even recording I am wishing for the wishing oil at Disneyland at the age of 75. 35 Seven Drops or Seven Little Man. During production, Walt Disney referred to the Seven Drops as the Seven Little Man. 36 Manuscript of Evil Queen. A 1934 outline title manuscript included a scene in which the queen captured the prince and held him captive in her dungeon. Manuscript also includes Snow White's elaborate journey through settings like Bogeland, the Valley of the Dragon, and the Murders of Monsters. Although most of those ideas didn't make it into the film. 37. Soup Sequence Soup Sequence is one of the film's deleted scenes featuring the drops happily clapping the soup and Snow White teaching them proper during a quote. 38. Early Sketches of Snow White Early story sketches portray Snow White as Blondie. 39. Deleted Dream Sequence Someday my Prince Will Come was originally planned with an elaborate dream sequence of Snow White singing with her brain, complete with fantasy imagery of cloud steps, a swan shape boot, and human as it starts. 40. Donald Duck's Bias Clarence Nash, the bias of Donald Duck, can be heard in the soundtrack as a whistling bird, a hooting owl, part of the drops group, extra nations, and the old hog cycle as the queen brews her portion. 41. Carry Mobile From the get go, censorship was a real issue with the production of the film. It may not seem like it now, but Snow White really pushed the envelope for its time, as seen her 
that Snow White's mother died had to be cut to avoid the hammer of the censor and upon the film release. Snow White fought a national controversy about whether or not the ancient forest and the witch were too scary for young children. In fact, the theater managers at the Radio City Music Hall where Snow White premiered were nervous that the movie would be too scary for kids. This fear spoke to be all founded after the movie's premiere, the Velvet Up whole story on the seats had to be replaced. Kids were so frightened by the same horse Snow White gets lost in the forest that they eat their pants. 32. Snow White's original design on Mars 6 year. The original design for Snow White was created by the same artist who designed Petty Bob. Snow White was drawn with red pointing, lips, long eyes, lashes, and a much more provocative outfit that look at the ankle. This rejected the original design because he wanted Snow White to be wholesome and innocent, not sex. The original artwork was kept by the one of the animators and later sold at auction for the only £2,793 or $3,000.95. 42 drops is not a misspelling. The spelling of the movie's title has always bothered us. Why is it drops and not drought oil? The time the generally accepted plural for drought was drops. It wasn't until J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings stories gained in popularity that drought became the more common variant. 44. It has some pretty high profile fans. In 1989, the United Library of Congress selected Snow White on the seven doors for preservation in the National Film Registry. Russian filmmaker Sergei Eisenstein, director of Battleship, put in Kim the movie that all you film major front won't stop talking about, called it the greatest film ever made. 45. Gary Wachtrice was the inspiration behind the forest in the film. Walt Disney was inspired by the Gary Wachtrice, he put it on southern Vancouver Island in British Columbia and remembered their twisting shapes when conceiving of the forest Disney in the film. 46 Youngest Disney Princess Snow White is the youngest Disney princess. She is only 14 years old. 47 Five dollars they get police to keep the animator man's working. Walt Disney Institute his five dollars they get policy. One notable example of this policy is when Walt Kimball suggested that the drug horses should pop one by one over the food court while they were or picking at Snow White. 48 first full length cell animated feature. Snow White was the first full length cell animated feature in motion picture history. A cell is a sheet of transparent cellulose acetate used as a medium for painting animation frames. It is transparent so that it can be laid over other cells and or a painted background then photographed. 49 prequel to Snow White. Disney Stone Studio started to develop a prequel to Snow White called The Seven Drops in the 2000s but John Lasseter, Disney Tones new chief creative officer in 2006 cancelled the project. It would have explained how the seven drops met and how the queen killed Snow White's father to take the throne. Later it was altered to focus on how Joby lost his voice after seeing his mother die. 50. First film with soundtrack. Speaking of who is in 1944, Snow White became the first film to ever release a soundtrack. 51. Toughest scene. Animator Seamus Calhani recalled drawing the drops march home in the hi-ho scene as one of the toughest assignments of his career. Also, six of the drops were marching at the same tempo. He had to give each his own body language suited to the character and he had to map each individual work with a blow pencil and ruler because of the unusual angles and perspectives used in the sequence. Then there was Doobie bringing up the rear hopping out of step with the other but who still had to be smoothly integrated into the action. Describing the sheer amount of painstaking hand drawn lever this involved, Kalhani said I worked six months on that godamnant thing and it doesn't last a minute on screen. 52. Deleted Queen's Assassination Attempts The film was also going to include all three of the Queen's assassination attempts, Poison Comb, Body Suffocation and the Poison Apple, but eventually streamlined it to dust the apple instead. Up until very late in production, just the bodies was cut, with the comb remaining. 53. How Billy Gilbert got the draw part When comedian Billy Gilbert found out that one of the drops names was Sneezy. He called up Walt Disney and gave him his famous sneezing gag and got the part. 54. Hidden Mickey formed by three stones on the wall behind the queen as she strides down to the basement to perform her spell. 55. Walt Campbell's Dejection. Walt Kimball was dejected when he learned that his two main sequences, the drop
crafts eating soup and building a bed for Snow White respectively were cut and considered leaving the studio but Walt Disney convinced him to stay by giving him the character of Jimmy Cricket to animate for the next feature Pinocchio 56 total cast and crew publicity material relates the production employed 32 animators 102 assistants 167 in between arts 20 levered artists 25 artists drawing watercolor backgrounds 65 effects animators and 158 female inkers and painters 20 lux illustrations were made using 1500 sheets of paint 57 animal cult home of dwarves in the dwarves home almost every wooden surface has an animal cut into it even the each of each chair step in the face of an owl only the door to the bedroom looks to have smiling human shaped creatures on it 58 snow white was prone to being pirated the film was finally released on video in 1994 after several years of the studio resisting any notion of the idea according to former disney ceo michael isner the reason why the studio ultimately released snow white and the seven drops 1937 on video was because the film was about to enter the public domain in italy and would be prone to being pirated ultimately disney had their copyright on the movie extended 59 animation of the slave in the magic mirror take nine tries to make it took animator Wolfgang Reiterman nine tries to get the animation of the slip in the magic mirror just right. He achieved it by folding the paper in half, drawing one half of the face, then turning the paper over and facing the other half. He was then dismayed when his hard work was obscured by fire, smoke and distortion glass for the flame. 60. Hitler was a fan of Snow White. He has proved that no one was immune to Snow White's charms. Hitler considered him himself a big fan. There has even been speculation that he did some sketches of the drops and indeed Hitler was an aspiring artist before he became the most infamous dictator in history. 61. Princess Ho can communicate with animals. Snow White, Cinderella and Aurora can communicate with animals. Also all three of these classic princess or peasant cloth at the beginning of her film. 62. Only 11 human characters. There are only other than human characters in the film Snow White that drops the queen, the prince, and the huntsman of this, the prince is the only one in ever named. 63 Queen Green Heldy wanted to marry Prince. In the original outline for the film, Queen Green Heldy was depicted as wanting to marry the teenage prince herself. Her murderous rage was caused by his rejection of her marriage proposal, and there were scenes revealing that he has killed other prince who crossed her path. Those power repeat the plot lines are eventually rejected. 64 Throne of Queen Grimhaldi The throne of Queen Grimhaldi has a peak of naughty, possibly in reference to her vanity. 65 Modified Death Scene of Queen Grimhaldi Queen Grimhaldi was the first magic character to ever die in a Disney film, and the screen writers struggled with how to depict her death. They rejected the death scene in the original story outright. As the original story had Snow White killing her stepmother by using torture, they felt that it would ruin Snow White's image as a good girl. 66 Evil Queen plus Tam The Evil Queen character is pictured on one of 10 USA non-denominated commemorative posters Tam celebrating Disney villains, issued as a Pain of 20 stamps on July 15, 2017. The set was issued in a single sheet of 20 stamps. The price of each stamp on day of issue was 49. The other villains depicted in this issue are Honest John, Pino Ho, 2040, Lady Humani, Cinderella, 1950, The Queen of Hearts, Alice in Wonderland, 1951, Captain Hook, Peter Pan 1953, Maleficent, Sleeping Beauty 1959, Cruella de Valley 101, Dalmatian 1961, Ursula the Little Mermaid 1989, Gaston Beauty and the Beast 1991, and Scar the Lion King 90. 94. 67. Evil Queen actually shares Snow White's hair color. Throughout the film, the Queen is clad mostly in black and other negative dark colors, providing a visual contrast to Snow White's light, colorful 
were dropped. While well, the queen covers her hair under a hood for most of the film, her hair is depicted as a sheen in black hair, which is removed. She actually shares no her hair color. Sixty-eight queen. Grimhilde's castle inspiration. In trying to design Queen Grimhilde's castle, the animators took inspiration by the Alcazar of Segovia, a distinctive castle place in Spain. 69 on special dwarf. Happy was the only dwarf that Snow White does not refer to by name. Also, he is the only one of the seven dwarfs who has white eyebrows, while the rest have black eyebrows. All of the dwarfs have dark eye color except for Dopey. He is a light blue. Jock is the only one of the seven dwarfs who wears spectacles. Dope is the only one of the seven dwarfs who does not have a bad 70 the queen is not the witch in the original film from 1915 the queen and the witch are actually two separate characters 71 dopey was initially considered for fantasia dopey was initially considered for fantasia 94 d as the apprentice in the soul colors apprentice hiring snow white acts to inspect his hands his sleeves are too long and covered them this visual detail was used for mickey mouse in fantasia 94 Another hint is that when Dopey presents his hand, eight notes are played quickly by the wood ones. The notes are almost identical to a portion of a phrase in the music of Sir Carter's Apprentice. 72 Dwarfs or Mons. In the original fairy tale, transcribed in German by William Grimm and Jacob Grimm, the seven characters who were represented by dwarfs in the film are originally Mons. It is believed that this change was made to avoid offending either German, Pinot, or non Christian movie goers, neither of who is demographic was viewed at the time as being able to identify with Christian Mon. 73. Dopey is actually adopted. It is very possible Dopey is actually adopted in the film. The other drops are noticeably much older than Dopey and he is also implied to be much younger than Snow White. So it is most likely Dopey is either from another clan of drops or he could possibly be a young child that looks like a drop. As a matter of fact, it is likely Dopey is the youngest character in the film. 74. A light model was used to animate Snow White. A light model was used for animators to help them give Snow White a more realistic look. This worked so well that light models were brought in for animated feature. From then on, many of were given costumes and acted out scenes to help with the drawing process. 75. Snow White has two animated sequels. Filmation produced two animated sequels, a Snow White Christmas 1980, where she is blonde and she encountered seven friendly giants are opposite to dwarfs and happily ever after 1989 which has the queen's brother lord malice kidnap prince charming and this time snow white has to be the hero and save him this time who is with seven female dwarfs called dwarf ace 76 grim hildy's bark grim hildy is from norse mythology she was competing for sick flights affections with Bran hildy in the poems of the elder Ida and Paulsang saga stories. 77. Dopey is mentally disabled. It is possible Dopey is mentally disabled as he is mute and cannot speak and does things that are inappropriate such as tagging Snow White's skirt and trying to kiss her in the mouth as he simply doesn't know better. This would mean Dopey is one of the few Disney characters that is mentally handicapped. 17. Adriana Caslotti was not invited to the premiere of the movie. Adriana Anna Kesloti Snow White was not invited to the premiere of, of the movie when she tried to get in. Security was not convinced that she was Snow White. 79. Are the dwarfs actually oldie? Here's something that came to our attention that we haven't figured out quite yet. If the seven dwarfs are sitting on a huge diamond mine, how do they still live in a cramped cottage in the wilderness? More importantly, why are all seven of them sharing the same house when they could easily afford individual accommodation? We see the dwarfs with cards overflowing with diamonds, rubies, and other precious gemstones. They even sing about working where a million diamonds shine. These guys have more treasures than they know what to do with, yet they are still all sharing the same cabin in the woods. It is Snow White has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Snow White is one of the very few fictional characters who have a star on the coveted Hollywood Walk of Fame. Her star was added on the 28th of June 1987 and can be found at 6920 Hollywood Bulk. Other Disney characters with their own star include Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. 81 Snow White is the only Disney princess who never talks to her friends. Snow White is special not only because she 
was the very first Disney princess, but also because of the way she interacted with her prince, or rather the way she didn't, she never got the chance to speak to her love interest, and that makes her unique in the Disney world. 8200 years to guard the name. Even though the original version of Snow White was published by the Brothers Grimm in 1812, it would be another 100 years before they were named. In the original fairy tale, number 53 in the Grimm's fairy tales collection, originally titled Snee Uchan in Germany, the dwarfs were a name. The first time the dwarfs were given names was in the 1912 Broadway play produced by Winthrop Annis. And what were those names? Bleak, Flick, Bleak, Sneak, Bleak, Quick, and Queer. 83. Grumpy is the second popular dwarf. If Dopey is the most popular dwarf, Grumpy is certainly a close second. Originally voiced by Pink to Colwick, the original voice of Goffrey, Grumpy had a soft spot for Snow White, though he vehemently denied it. However, it was Grumpy that led the dwarfs on the quest to rescue Snow White. Doc and Grumpy were actually the focus of a scene that was fully animated yet cut from the final film. In the scene, the two dwarfs got into a flight over a gooseberry pie that Snow White promised to make for them. Even though Grumpy seemed to be winning, he eventually acquiesced and agreed to let Snow White prepare the pie. 84. Happy's Bias Happy was voiced by Otis Harlan, who also performed the role of Mr. Moore in Bambi. Happy was originally going to be a comically tragic character, but quickly evolved into the cheerful, bubbly dwarf that we know today. He has a great love for food and is the chaviest of the dwarf. He showcased his fondness for food in the deleted musical sequence where the dwarfs nicely slapped up their bowls of soap. 85. Bashful's Boyers Bashful's Boyers was performed by Scotty Metro, who also had small roles in babies in Thailand and the grapes of Wad. He is the most romantic of the dwarfs and even has a small crush on Snow White herself. When Snow White offered to share a story with the dwarfs, it was Bashful who suggested that it be a love story. 86. Sleepy's Boyers Sleepy was voiced by the legendary Sterling Holloway, perhaps best known to Disney fans as the voice of only the four, even though Sleepy is constantly on the verge of dodging off. He's actually the most observant of the dwarfs, a running that throughout the film had Sleepy being constantly pestered by a fly, an example of the type of gag that Walt Disney felt was critical in giving the dwarfs their individual personalities. While animating Sleepy, care was taken to ensure that one eye was always larger than the other to make Sleepy appear at whole start. 87. Sneezy Spires Sneezy was passed by Billy Gilbert, a popular comedic actor originally discovered by Stan Laurel, all known for his hilarious Sneezy routines. While Justin knew he would be perfect for the role and later cast Gilbert as Willie the giant in Mickey and the Bean Star, perhaps the friendest of the drive, he often joins Doofy in his playful antics. It's Sneezy's that hiding under the coat with Dopey on his shoulders in the memorable dance scene with Snow White inside the cottage. 88. At first, the animators thought the drops would be the main focus of the story. It had first been thought that the drop would be the main focus of the story and many sequences were detailed for the seven characters. However, at a certain point, it was decided that the main thrust of the story was provided by the relationship between the Queen and Snow White. For this reason, several sequences featuring the drops were cut from the film. The first, which was animated in this entirely before being cut, shows Doc and Grumpy are going about old Snow White should stay with them. Another also completely animated would have shown the dwarfs eating soap noisily and messily. Snow White unsuccessfully attempts to teach them how to eat like gentlemen. A partially animated sequence involved the dwarfs holding a lodge meeting in which they tried to think of a gift for Snow White. This was to be followed by the elaborate bed building sequence in which the dwarfs and the forest animals construct and carve a bed for the princess. This also was cut as it was thought to slow down the movement of the story. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button below, and please don't forget to share this video with your friends.